happening where my mouth is. Not to nitpick, Joe, but aren't you still just putting your mouth where your mouth is? All right, come on, we're missing the action. Courtney G with pocket nines. Obviously, this is a raise. I'll raise it. Yeah, I said we weren't going to clash, but I think we're going to clash because I got a good hand. 1,600. That raise is a little big. Grano calls. Daniel's usually pretty honest, so I believe him so far. It all just depends on what his definition of good is. Maybe not that good, or he would have re-raised. Courtney, very interested in what's going on here. 6,000. Three bets. Randy Lou makes it 6,000, and Solomon's out of the way. Well, Lou's put the squeeze on, probably to isolate the cannon. It's just a matter of whether or not he has a real hand this time. Randy could easily be doing this with something worse than two nines, but even if not, Courtney should call on the off chance she could hit a set. You know, you really can't be folding big pocket pairs with only 150 hands to play. But she does. All right, well, now this is interesting. I know you come in. How are you? Up? You know it, right? <laughs> so you raised anyway. What is that all about? What was that? You, just, you knew I was calling, but you raised anyway. Hmm. You're reading too much into it, man. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to. I, I don't want to level myself here. I just want to try to flop a set, hit a set, and get it in. Can we do that? Huh? Yeah, I'm paired in. Well, if I'm trying to flop a set, what do you think I started? With? <laughs> so we're heads up to the flop, and we don't know anyone's cards. Trey, Deuce, Jack. Randy's got the lead. Eight thousand. Lou bets eight thousand. Well, that was pretty obvious. Lou's been firing every flop, whether he has it or not. Interesting situation, okay? Because I have three threes right now. <laughs> you don't believe that? I don't know. You, How much I believe is it? a lot of people. I believe a lot of people. So the best play, way to play this against you, based on previous hands, is to call, call, raise river, I think. Okay? So that's that's plan A. I might change my mind, but plan A is call, call, ship river. All right. That's plan A. You like that? I'm just going to tell him, whatever. I'm a little right? worried. So the mystery continues, seven on the turn. It's such hard to tell your opponent what you're doing and doing it, you know? What are you going to do now? Does Lou <laughs> want to keep the lead? 20,000. Lou bets 20,000. Lou's got Daniel's attention. Let's see if he sticks to his plan of call, call, ship. He doesn't believe me. <laughs> I seriously say I'm going to do that, and he doesn't care. Oh, gosh. Everyone lies. That's what I heard. Yeah. Word on the street. <laughs> So is plan A still the plan? Hmm. I'd like to defer. You gotta respect internet guys that chat during hands. That's a very rare thing, and to that, hats off. He's chatted in the middle. If somebody's dialoguing with him, he just opens the door and goes there. Oh. Even I don't do that. I try not so to. So it's but a I mistake. Is that a mistake? Thanks for the. I, I'm leveling myself too much. I call. I Daniel know. calls. <laughs> <laughs> if I keep thinking, I'm gonna screw up really bad. <laughs> this is awesome. Are really still to sticking to the plan? <laughs> River, ace of clubs. The only draw on the flop, which was four or five, just came in. Daniel's taking a pretty passive line on this hand, and in the past, when Nano's had nothing, he slowed down by now. So if he's gearing up for another bet, my guess is he may have the best hand. Daniel intently watching Lou as he stacks chips. And it looks like it's going to be a really big bet. I'm now worried that you just made three aces. How much does he have? How much did he bet? Fired 47,800. I told you I have three threes and you just don't care, or you have that beat, right? Well, if I talk too much, I might let you know what I have. Bro, the thing is, when you talk, you might get the other result. You might get wins that you shouldn't have got, et cetera, you know? That's true. It's, it's not all. How light is Daniel thinking of calling this time? What's he got left? Let's see. I can't see. Just lift your hand. That's good. It really smells like aces. Does that mean Daniel was already beating a pair of aces? Pocket aces? Oh, it's a difference. I can't fold anyway. <laughs> Calls. Queens. Turn to set. Wow. Holy. Oh, wow. Nice hand. <laughs> Daniel's read wasn't far off. It wasn't over pair till the river. And Courtney G's fold makes her look like a G genius. Daniel Negrano comes up big on the turn there, takes down the biggest pot of the night, and that's going to put him at the top of our leaderboard. Kid Poker is now up over 68 grand. Followed by Hollywood home game legend Rick Solomon, who's up.